Hey guys, Stephen Tony here, and I am back with a new video. And for this one, I am bringing back the, in my opinion, from the Shelves series. Um, I just realized earlier today that I haven't done one in a while. And uh, I would like to bring this uh, back um, either once a month or twice a month. I haven't um, actually decided yet. It'll probably be once a month I'll, I'll uh, do it. But um, we'll play around and see how it goes. So for this one, I am going to look at a somewhat Forgotten British money series from the mid seventies called the Feathered Serpent. Now, what's interesting about this money series is that it was initially created for kids. Actually, um, it was meant uh, to be a children's program that would. Um, Air, I think it was like Saturday F Jarnoons or something. Uh, something. Um, it was meant to be a mix of like educational uh, stuff and your age of a top topical uh, drama and action plot lines. So um, yeah, um, I actually. Thought it was, you know, funny that it was meant for, uh, for kids initially because there's some stuff in here that's not really, you know, adult adult. But it seemed like there was some stuff that may have, you know, you know gone over kids' heads. But, but that's just me, so... So uh, anyway, um, the show is is a set in the Aztec Empire uh, prior to the coming of the Spanish, and the current king is looking to um, form a truce with his own land and a um, in a neighboring uh, kingdom through the marriage of his daughter and the other king's son. And the um, high priest, played by Patrick Troughton up there, um, is against it, and he wants to take a over. And it's up to the... Uh, princess and uh, prince to uh, stop him. And I actually thought that this was very well made. Um, it's a little more dialogue and con you know, conversation uh, driven because like, you know, because it's like 70s TV, you know, and there was only so much you could do at the time. But um, it does have some good action, you know, what, like, little it is able to, you know, do. Uh, do, but um, it's a very good script, actually, for the... Most part, like, you know, like, there's a lot of, you know, intrigue, uh, um, you know, a lot of, you know, um, you know, b b b b um, a lot of back and forth stuff, like, you know, on, like, what, you know, should be, be done, like, what seems, you know, wrong, like, what seems right. Uh, like, right, um, scheming, heroism, you know, good against evil, you know, it's got pretty much everything you want. 
um, for like this, you know, type of show. Uh, yeah, um, I'm a you know history buff. I'm as well as a film buff. I mean, this kind of uh, caught my eye due to the Aztec stuff. Um, I never really got to learn much about Mesoamerican stuff um, in school, like say for you know some bits in college, but. But, uh, yeah, like, yeah, you know, um, uh, like, yeah, uh, like, not that I don't find it, uh, you know, fascinating, um, like that, you know, period in time, but it was just something I never gravitated towards, uh, you know, and I did want to learn a little if, you know, uh, possible. Um, and the, uh, film makers were quite, uh, faithful to the period. The, like, you know, costumes are good. Um, the, uh, sets are good. Uh, good. I'm um, like, you can tell at times it's on a soundstage, but, you know, um, but once things get like rolling, you know, it just you know absorbs you go in, and so, so and so and yeah, um, it was um presented as two parts, uh, six episodes each. Uh, both had a start and an end point. Um, so it wasn't you know purely continue. Yo, as um, like you know, uh, um, like you each could be viewed, uh, you know, on their own, and you could still get the gist of it all. Um, to be honest, I actually preferred the first half over the second half. Um, the first half, I thought, how did that, how they characters were in introduced and was great uh, um i loved loved how everything was set up like you know all the scheming you know plotting you know characters trying to figure out what's what you know all of the you know, like whitey stuff like you know all the uh cool stuff you, you know you know the out. Um, I just thought it was, I you know, it was built uh, up very well, and then by the sixth episode, um, it all uh, came together uh, nicely. The second half, I didn't think had that. Um, you know, I know it felt very weak. Um, it's it's me. You know, um, even the event. You know, I mean, I think the only thing that made it work, the the second half, I mean, was uh, Troughton's performance as, um, as a Nazca, yeah. Yeah, um, like, he made the second half work for, the, uh, you know, for the most... Uh, part, but uh, I thought he was at his best, uh, you know, in the first part as well. I mean, like, I should have just earnestly watched uh, that, like, you know, and felt, you know, s s satisfied in those first uh, six episodes. I mean, like, not that the other half of his back, uh, like, was, like, um, totally bad. But like yeah, you know, I just thought the first half was uh was uh, so much better, and and, and uh, yeah, but um the pro performances from the cast, uh, you know, especially uh, Troughton and uh, uh, Diane uh, Keene, who was great in her part. And uh, also, Br 
Ryan Deacon. Um, I, he was great as, um, as the, uh, uh, prince, uh, she said to, uh, Mary, who has to help her, um, against, uh, Troughton. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, they are great together. And, uh, yeah, I mean, um, if you're a lover of history or just, uh, you know, want to learn this is something new, you, um, I hadn't, um, uh, this is definitely the show to go with. Um, um, I don't think it goes too much into the actual history of the Aztec Empire, but, but it does get the, like, you know, like, customs and the culture, uh, right, uh, like, right, like, yeah, you know, um, 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 I do reg, uh, uh, um, on this, um, and, and, uh, like, kids actually probably would enjoy this, um, I, I'm like, oh, I would probably, uh, wait until maybe, like, in your kids, you know, nine or ten, uh, ten, I, I mean, like, you know, any younger, and a lot of it is just, you know, gonna go over that there, heads so so yeah but I'm um, uh, highly recommended I'm uh, um, especially the first six episodes um it's it's actually I think a little of a forgotten series because I could not find too much you know information on it at all. You know, all oh, oh, like yeah, yeah, um, and you know, in, and I like you know, in terms of like, you know, of like you know, how it came to, to be, like you know, who thought it, uh, like you gotta know how people got casted, uh, you gotta know any behind the scenes stories. Uh, stories, but it is very good. Um, uh, uh, it might seem wooden at first, cause you know it's mainly you know uh, I get a dialogue driven, but the dialogues and conversations do draw you in. You know, um, yeah, I know it is worth uh, seeking out. And it also has a good, uh, a little uh, feed charrette on some of the historical ba ba uh, background of the Mezzo uh, period. So, yeah, uh, so, 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 yeah, like that'll be interesting for, you know, uh, history uh, fans too. Too, but as I said, um, worth uh, uh, checking out, especially the first six shows. And you can either get the, uh, the Acorn DVD from here in like the States, or there's a release in the UK. So yeah, um, that'll do it. Uh, Definitely check out the show if um, if you can. Uh, I can. Um, it's good for both uh, people who enjoy history and people who just enjoy good uh, stories. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, uh, please hit the, the that like button and and. So subscribe if you haven't already and want to, to um and please leave any comments if you have seen this uh show um if you, you uh, um if there's been any other uh shows that uh delved into these uh cultures um or just the you know like in your thoughts you know or to say hi. And yes, um, again, thank you for uh, viewing, and I'll see y'all in, in the
the next one. Bye.